Okay, so if you actually know basic math, well, then this will be an easy problem to solve without using your calculator. So let's take a look at the problem. So we have 28 divided by parentheses, 3 plus 6 divided by 3 times 2, and parentheses. Okay, so again, no calculator, but uh, we do have a multiple choice question. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is 2, B is 4, C is 7, and D is 14. All right, so go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you're frustrated with math, or if you really want to understand the subject, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so the whole uh, kind of idea behind this uh, video and problem is not to use a calculator. Of course, anyone can plug this into your calculator and get the answer. So here we are talking about basic mathematics, but I suspect a lot of you are going to get this wrong for a very specific reason. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answers. So if your answer is C, unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct answer actually is B, which is four. But I suspect uh, this other answer over here is probably the number one wrong answer. So if you got uh, C as your answer or seven, well, I'm glad that you found this video because we need to clear up some uh, real common confusion in terms of basic math. All right, so if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know anything here. Well, no big deal. I'm going to explain this right now. Okay, so assuming you know how to add numbers and divide numbers and multiply numbers. So we're talking about basic arithmetic, arithmetic here. Now, for many of us, including myself, I think I was learning this stuff way back in 1977. So you're talking a long time ago. So if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I was learning this way back in 1952 or whatever the case is. Of course, if we don't practice our arithmetic, we are going to uh, forget how to do basic mathematical operations. So if you forget, you know, if you forgot, excuse me, how to divide, multiply, and add numbers, well, don't, you know, be too down on yourself because with all this technology, you know, uh, we pretty much are always going to use our calculators. So let's see if we can capture or recapture some of these basic math skills. But the first thing that we want to recognize is that we do have a multiple choice question. So for those of you that still have to uh, take math tests and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, what happens if I come across a question on a math exam and I don't know the answer? Well, take a guess, right? Never feel bad about being a certified professional expert in guessing. I certainly was way back in uh, middle school and high school before I really started taking uh, academics seriously. So you have a one out of four chance to get the right answer. Now, of course, if we don't have a multiple choice uh, question here, well, then you're certainly just going to have to know the math. Okay, now again, assuming you know how to do basic math operations, i.e. multiply, divide, and add numbers, really this problem comes down to the order in which we do the problem. In other words, uh, should we maybe uh, add first, okay, or maybe we should multiply first, maybe we should divide first, you know, who knows? Well, here is the key, probably most people that got this problem wrong, and again, the number one a wrong answer is likely seven, and that is due because, uh, to not knowing the proper order of operations. So let's go ahead and review that right now. So to understand the order of operations, you have to understand this little acronym right here. So in mathematics, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and powers, things like this are what we can do with numbers. These are called mathematical operators. Of course, you have powers and you have grouping symbols. And we need to understand the correct order to do a math problem or you will get the wrong answer. So here is a quick uh, pop quiz uh, for you. So without using a calculator, what is the answer to this simple problem? All right, so most of you hopefully can do this in your brain. So is your answer one or is your answer 25? 
Okay, so if your answer is one, well, congratulations again on finding this video because that is the wrong answer. The answer is not one. The correct answer is 25. And if you understand why it's 25 and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know why these people got it wrong. Well, uh, we're going to review that right now. Okay, so uh, again, we're talking about the order of operations and you can see the consequence of not knowing the proper, uh, proper order of operations here. You can get this problem wrong. So for those of you that uh, got the answer of one, what you did is what? Well, you went two times five, that's 10. So you have 10 divided by 10, which of course is one. Well, two times five is indeed 10. So there's nothing wrong with that. 10 divided by 10 is indeed one. So these little sub problems are correct. What's wrong here is the order. You see, you started with multiplication first, where you should have started with division first. So we should have had 10 divided by two, that's, of course, 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So, again, order makes a huge difference in terms of simplifying or, uh, you know, uh, working a basic math problem or any problem at that in mathematics. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn the uh, proper order of operations, which means we need to understand this acronym right here. Now, this is a checklist, and we're going to go from left to right. Now, before I explain to you what these letters stand for, I'm going to give you a mnemonic, a little memory aid here, and it goes like this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics, and let's go ahead and get into this problem. All right, so P stands for parentheses. So if you have a math problem and it has parentheses, brackets, or even these type of squiggly brackets, these are what we call grouping symbols, all right? So you have to go to any parentheses, and if your problem has multiple sets of parentheses or brackets, you go to the innermost parentheses first. So if there is some math to do in there, in other words, if you have like three plus four, that's where you're going to start. Now, not every problem is going to have parentheses, but you still need to review this checklist. Okay, so let's move on to E. E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as powers. So if you have like two to the third power, this little number right here, the top right, is called an exponent. And it means take this number two and multiply it by itself three times, right? So this number is telling us how many times to multiply this number by, right? So two times two, that's three twos, of course, is eight. All right, so again, not every problem is going to have uh, powers or exponents, but if they do, they're going to come after the parentheses step. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into uh, a very confused part of the order of operations. So M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for uh, subtraction. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, put that... Uh, problem you had back up there. So here it is. And you might be kind of upset. You know, you might be like, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, this, you know, this should be multiplication, right? According to your little checklist, you should do multiplication first. So why is one the wrong answer? Well, great question. This is not exactly the way uh, this checklist works. Now we are going from left to right, but the next step is not multiplication. It's multiplication or division. Now, if you have multiplication or division in your math problem, you're going to do uh, whatever you see first from left to right. So here we have division and we have multiplication. What do we see first from left to right? We see division. So that's why we do the division first. Okay, so hopefully that clears up some confusion. And then uh, addition and subtraction will always follow multiplication and division, and it works the same way. You're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this knowledge to our problem. And uh, what I want to do is do the problem wrong, okay? So we're going to do it wrong, and we're going to try to reconstruct probably the most common mistake because a lot of people do um, you know, or do have some knowledge of the order of operations or they feel like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know PEMDAS. I'm good with this. Well, again, this is a very common mistake, and I would not be surprised if maybe even half the people watching this video with even some knowledge of basic math and the order of operations made this error. All right, so here is our problem. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. We're going to start right here inside of the parentheses. So that means we're going to 
look inside of the parentheses and focus on this math. Okay, so what do we have? We have addition, division, and multiplication. Now, we're going to go to our next step, E. Is there any powers? Nope. Uh, we're inside of the parentheses. So, uh, again, for most people, not for most people, for those that get confused with uh, PEMDAS in the order of operations. And by the way, it's not, I don't want to say it's your fault. You know, of course, we, all, <laughs> we always have to take responsibility for, you know, knowing something, you know, from a mathematical standpoint. But uh, what I am trying to say is this. In my experience, a lot of math textbooks, you know, don't stress this enough because it is a common mistake. So don't feel too bad. And hopefully this video is going to clear this up once and for all in terms of any confusion. All right, but a lot of people are going to think that we're going to follow this PEMDAS, P-E-M. We're going to do all the multiplication before we get to division. So if that's the case, you're going to be like, all right, multiplication's next. So we're going to do 3 times 2 and then just kind of go from there, right? So 3 times 2, of course, is 6. Now we're still inside of the parentheses, and uh, we're going to do division before any addition. So on our little PEMDAS uh, checklist, we're going to take care of this next before we get to any addition and subtraction. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. Now we have 3 plus 4. We're still not done with the parentheses step because we keep working the parentheses until we're down to one number. So 3 plus 4, I'm sorry, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 28 divided by 4 is 7. Now what's exciting about getting this answer, it's a lovely, nice whole number integer value. So a lot of people are going to be really confident in their answer. They're going to be like, yes, I am going to get an A+. Plus. My teacher is going to uh, love me. And then when they uh, get the work back, your teacher, man, they might give you like a 7 out of 10. And they're going to see, oh, this is what you don't understand. Now, here is the thing about learning mathematics. When you are doing any math problem, you want to write out your, uh, your work step by step. Because if you hand this in to me as your math teacher, I would be like, okay, this person, uh, you know, knows a lot about PEMDAS, but they're making this common error. So all I would have to do is point out right here, uh, like, hey, this is wrong, right? You got to do division first. And once you understand that step, you'd be like, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so no big deal if you did get uh, seven wrong. Now, if you're like, hey, I don't even know, I didn't even know the order of operations. Well, you know, now that you know uh, PEMDAS and the proper order of operations, we're going to do this problem correctly. All right, but uh, before we do that, we're going to do this, and that is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I set up my YouTube channel some like 14 years ago. And I mean, when YouTube is kind of coming out, I have a lot of regrets because I should have been posting more aggressively way back in those good old days. So I just set up my channel and I really didn't do much with it. I did a little bit here, a little bit there, and uh, maybe about five, six, seven years ago, something like that, I really started putting a lot more effort uh, into YouTube. I recognized the reach you could have, you know, to help people. Now, this is kind of indicative or this is uh, similar to those of you that want to learn math. And what I'm talking about is if you do a little bit of math here and there, you're really not going to progress that far, right? So if you really want to learn math, it takes time and it takes a sustained commitment to really immerse yourself in the subject, all right? So whether it's YouTube or mathematics, you're not going to really, you know, uh, have success unless you stick with something for a long period of time and have that commitment, all right? So if you're struggling with math, and if you really want to learn math, you can't do it like, well, I'll learn math this week and then take a month off and then get back to some math. You really want to try to learn math daily. Now, beyond that, what you need is uh, clear and understandable math instruction. And that's uh, what this channel is all about. That's what I try to do. I try to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. But uh, I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. I need your help. And the best way you can support this channel is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. By the way, uh, I offer, again, full, complete math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you need a great review for basic mathematics, check out my Math Foundations course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply what we learned with PEMDAS, right? So a quick review, P is parentheses, E is exponents or powers. The next thing is multiplication or division. If we have it, we're going to do whatever we see first from left to right. Matter of fact, this checklist goes from left to right. And then we're going to uh, handle any addition and subtraction, whatever we see first from left to right. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do the problem correctly. So here we go, it's PEMDAS. Now, for those of you that are practicing this, you might wanna write this on your paper and just go through this checklist one step at a time. All right, so do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do, they're right here. That means we have to work inside of the parentheses uh, or the innermost parentheses until we're done. Okay, so inside of the parentheses, do we have any other parentheses? Okay, so really that's kind of the next thing we would need to check. No, we do not. Do we have any powers or exponents? No, we do not. Do we have any multiplication or division? Yes, we do. What do we see first from left to right? We see the division. All right, so we're going to handle 6 divided by 3 first. Okay, so 6 divided by 3, that, of course, is 2. So now we have addition and multiplication. Uh, multiplication is always going to uh, become first. Uh, we're always going to do multiplication first, excuse me, before any addition. So again, we're still not done uh, inside of the parentheses. So we're focused inside of the parentheses until we get this down to one number. All right, so 2 times 2 is our next step. And of course, that is 4. So we're not done with the parentheses, but uh, we have 3 plus 4. That's all we have to do. That is 7. And our last operation is division. We have 28 divided by 7, which, of course, is 4. All right, so once again, never feel bad about making a mistake in math. But it, if you do want to really improve in math, and okay, beyond you know, uh, practicing math daily as best you can or staying immersed in the subject, you have to be neat, structured, and organized. you got to show your work step by step by step by step. So whether you give your work to a math teacher or you kind of want to follow along, you're not going to know what is uh, you know, causing you to get the wrong answer unless you show your work. All right, so once again, the whole purpose is, or the whole purpose, not purpose, purpose is, see, again, you want to learn math for me, not <laughs> grammar or English, and uh, that's a good kind of a reminder as well, is that, you know, all of us have our strengths in something, right? So some of you are great at writing or art or whatever the case might be, and, uh, you know, we're all, you know, have certain aptitudes in certain areas, but when it comes to math, all right, uh, all of you out there can have a good level of success, but again, you got to practice this stuff and uh, really just take it one skill at a time. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.